I know I have a lot of people still waiting for another Subnautica video, but to be completely honest, I'm just not there yet. Uh, but I thought I would maybe compromise with you a little bit and do something related to um, thalassophobia, but not exactly the same thing. So you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be looking through the uh, thalassophobia subreddit. This subreddit shows up every once in a while on my own Reddit thread, but I never actually really look too deep into it. And actually a lot of the ones I've seen, a lot of the random recommended posts I've seen don't seem too bad, but uh, who knows what's waiting for me. So that's what we're gonna do today. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also join my Discord and become a member if you'd like to as well. Completely not necessary, but very much appreciated. Okay, uh, it's being sorted by hot right now. I kind of want to just go from, actually, no, let's do hot. I was gonna say the top of all time, but let's, let's do, let's just see what's popular right now. We have the tsunami height comparison, okay. I don't know if this is really gonna bother me. Tsunamis aren't really something that get me going all that much. Also, this video is crap quality, so I don't know what's happening with it. Yeah, okay, well, so, okay. If I was here, God, I'm looking at these little boats. If I was here in the water while this was happening, absolutely not. I, I would, April Fool's tsunami? That's not, there's nothing funny about that. If I was here in this ocean, sitting here waiting for the tsunami to happen and just take me away, I probably would have passed out by now. I probably would be done. It's, it, it's gonna keep going? Eiffel Tower. You're using the Eiffel Tower, for, Eiffel Tower for scale. That's not something I want to ever see related to this. How are you using the Burj Khalifa? Okay, yeah. Uh, no, the Titanic all the way down there. Nope. Yeah, that got, that got uh, worse towards the end. It, it didn't start off that bad, but that, no, I'm good. Let's see, we gotta find something interesting. See, simple stuff like this bothers me. So this guy is only 35 meters deep, 115 feet deep. That's not that deep in comparison to other places you could, how far you could be like in other parts of the ocean. But even just this, like you have your big, you have your big tanker ship right here that you can see, but then everything else is just it's cloudy. How do you see anything else? And you still have sunlight, right? Like it's bright, but oh my, I can't. I can't see anything. How is any anybody comfortable with this? I don't get it. Okay, this person says, surprise more people don't think of Soma when they think of games that evolved to Lassophobia. Subnautica does it best, I think, but Soma definitely has its moments. I, I don't really even know what I'm looking at. I'm assuming I'm at the bottom of the ocean. I've only played part of Soma and I don't think I actually got to the part of Soma where you're like underwater or like you know that you're underwater, like you have to be underwater. I think that's a, like a section of the game. I don't really know. That's a game that I might do on the channel at some point. Don't get your hopes up, but that's a maybe. But yeah, that looks uncomfortable. This reminds me of Underwater. This is where my fear, this is where the last phobia began for me in general, is the movie Underwater for anyone who has not heard this story. This kind of reminds me of it. Underwater is about um, like a deep sea mining crew and they're like seven miles underwater. Earthquakes start happening. The whole facility just kind of explodes basically and they have to walk a mile on the ocean floor to another mining facility to try to get to some escape pods. And it is, oh, it's, it just, it has an unlocked this fear in me that won't go away. I can't get over it. This reminds me of that uh, specifically. Ooh, what the, what is this? What am I looking at here? the hell is this okay you got a little diver over here and you have like a tree or something what the hell is this right in the middle and uh, <laughs> no that's not real i mean this is a this is like a piece of art um but i <laughs> no 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 nope i'm good that's oh, a painting absolutely not there's a lot of these pictures that are like people above water and just looking at pictures of stuff like this doesn't really get me going too much. It, it doesn't upset me all that much. You got these pictures. Oh, that, that sucks. That's not great. I somehow scrolled right by that, but these ones that are just above water don't really, um, don't really bother me all, all that much in comparison to other things. Okay, here's one. Clip from a thalassophobia based game I've been working on. This just looks like Subnautica to me. I don't know if this overlay is is part of it. Oh my God. I just, what, what is, what is below you? What is below you? It's just a void. It just looks like nothing is there. I gotta play it again. I, 
And he is right. He is not that far down. He's not that far down. It feels dark. And it's just a... <laughs> There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there. What is down there? That doesn't concern anybody here. Ugh. Oh, here's one. Okay. I feel sick. Imagine jumping into that and just sinking. Okay. So... Not only do I have a fear of deep water, I have, I have a fear of heights. And I've had a fear of heights for way longer than I've had a fear of deep water. So this sucks. This absolutely sucks. Just looking at this, I can see how far down it goes. I can't imagine I am gonna enjoy this. Oh my God. And then are they gonna go under? Oh, what the, oh, ooh, what? Ooh, no, nope. No, um, you can't be serious, right? No. <laughs> That's awful. It's like, hey, I can jump into the water and then I can just sink for ever. It looks like that looks like it never ends. Okay. No, thank you. Okay. Here's another one. The part that quickens my pulse is not what's in front of him, but what could be watching from deepening waters behind him. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you got this guy, just like swimming. It's like clear water, right? As clear as water can get. Water is just whatever. But yeah, like it looks nice, right? From when you're looking at it from the top. I like looking at water above water, right? But then you peek your head underneath and you're like, okay, I don't know what's below me. I don't care how clear it is. And what's behind him? Right? What's behind him? Like, for all I know, it could just drop off immediately behind him and end up in a void of nothingness. But, mm -mm. No. I'm with this guy. Ugh. No. No, absolutely not. Okay, wait. This one looks confusing. Double the philosophobia and like... I, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce any of this. Double the philosophobia. I, I, so, wait. This is confusing. So you have this like river up here, but then you have like the ocean down here. So how deep is this river? I This doesn't make sense to me. I'm confused by this whole thing. I guess there could be like a waterfall down or like over here somewhere too. I yeah, I I don't like that. I don't like this. Like I feel like I could go underwater here and just be so unlucky enough to get stuck underwater and have to just like find my way down here. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know if they're like connected, but ew. Ugh. This guy goes, our our planet fucking rips. Yeah, like uh, the fact that this happened somehow is, is actually kind of cool, but I wouldn't want to be here, actually. This is a multitude of mine shafts. No, thank you. Saw this on my Facebook feed and immediately thought of the sub. There's zero chance I'd ever float near those. Just thinking about it makes me nauseous. Okay, uh, is this a thing? Like underwater mine shafts? Is that a thing? Or is this like flooded or something? This looks horrendous, right? Like a man made structure that goes, just goes down. That looks horrendous. I hate the sight of this. I, I'm good. I'm good. What even is, is this? Summit? What is this? Isn't it cool to think that this area wasn't underwater at some point? Okay, so that must be. Okay, that's interesting. So it's Lake Superior. I, okay, that's weird. That's weird. All right, let's see. We have. Looks calm, but my anxiety shot up when I saw that underwater hole. Okay. Right there? Is that what we're looking at? That's... What? That's a hole? It kind of just looks like seaweed or something. Okay. This doesn't really get me all that upset because I can see the bottom, except for maybe this. And I'm not even sure that's a hole. Yeah. Okay. That one doesn't bother me. Okay. What is this? I wonder what's making that noise. Please don't, oh, please don't fuck me. What? What? I have, that just sounded like something bumping around. I have no idea what that was. Okay, never mind. That was kind of lame. <laughs> okay. Wait. Ever seen the bottom of an iceberg? Bruh. Is that, is this like a real picture? Like I'm aware that icebergs, you know, I know, I know how icebergs work. I didn't realize that kind of just, it's just really uniform, like more uniform than I thought it was going to be. Is this a real picture? Huh? 
that this I just find interesting. I didn't realize icebergs could look like this. I don't know why I'm surprised by the shape of the iceberg, but I can't see too much else around it that would upset me except for the scale of the diver here, right? So it, it goes down pretty deep, but that, that's weird. This dude says, looks like some kind of manatee ice scrotum. Manatee ice scrotum is a string of words I've never seen put together, but it couldn't be any more accurate. What? What? And this guy, why does it look like a shriveled scrotum? Ooh, oh, okay, now I'm just grossed out. I'm, I'm good. This person, instant trigger on seeing this guy. Yeah, these above water ones don't really get me all that much. Not not really. Wait, 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 wait. Guy is whacked. POV, you're in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Okay. And nope. Mm -mm. How the hell did you get there? Nope. Uh, no, no, no. What in the world? Where are you? And how did you get there? I have questions for you, sir. No, thank you. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, here's one. Step into an abyss. Um, okay. This is for the Subnautica Below Zero fans. And he just, oh, ooh, wow. Uh, um, mm, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, uh-huh, right. I need to get, oh, uh, no, no, mm-mm. That, like, um, that gives me, like, claustrophobia as well and i don't even have a claustrophobia not really i have like situational claustrophobia it's not something i'm always worried about but something like that might make it worse but normally it, it, that's not really something that really bothers me but when you make it I me mean, claustrophobia underwater that sucks that sounds like it sounds like the worst thing ever i'm sorry i'm sorry excuse me this is the first underwater tennis stadium in dubai i have questions first of all why the fuck would you do that? It's like the world wants to drown. Why? Why? Yeah, I'm I'm with this guy. This I, is this a real image? I don't. This can't be real, right? This was just a proposed idea. It's never actually been built. Yeah. Do people actually think this is a real thing? Do they actually think there are whale-sized fish all over the top of this dome? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Right. The the I like it's a it's more of a concept. That makes sense. That makes way more sense. But the idea of it is messed up i'm gonna take a quick look at the uh the top posts of all time i just want to see what see what they got so much is happening i don't even know what to say are those orcas killer whales you know what's you know what's really interesting actually this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense i have thalassophobia but one of my favorite animals is orcas like they are just an absolutely insane species yeah those are are those orcas what am i looking at that's those aren't orcas wait yeah yeah. Ooh, okay. This seal might want to like step back. Yeah, orcas. Um, they are an insane species. Like they will ram into whales. Like as a group, they will ram into whales basically to tire the whale out so it will stop swimming so that they can attack the whale and, and kill it, right? And they are a species that has overtaken like the great white shark as the apex predator of their, you know, specific biome. So, you know, great white shark was, you know, top dog in the ocean. Now it's killer whales. They are vicious, vicious animals. And I don't know why I find them interesting, but I do. They're really cool. That makes no sense, but I don't know. Ooh, okay, here's one. Just the idea of sinking into the ocean. Um, so here's my, uh, my question, how far down are you and what is your plan from here? Like, do you have any concern for your own life or safety at all? Cause it doesn't seem like you do cause you're doing stupid shit like this. No, never, never ever in a million years for whatever amount of money, would you ever catch me doing something like this? Absolutely not idiot oh okay i think this will be the last one on a boat but still underwater uh, yeah no i wouldn't trust this for anything again pay me whatever amount of money you want not doing this right first of all it's cold I, I there's no way in hell i'm dying underwater and freezing cold no thank you how the hell did you get here like how'd you get your boat underwater here am i stupid is that like a rational question this doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> this person yeah Riddle me this, how can a boat float on the water and be underwater at the same time? This is a good post title. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I, just confused about the logistics of this a little bit, is all. Ugh. All right, all right, let's do one more actually. Whoa, whoa, okay, I found one. 
terrifying. What the? Again, uh, my question is how far down are you already? And how far down does this hellhole go? <laughs> Where does this end up? Because you look like you're pretty far down already. I mean, you already have, you still have sunlight. You still have sunlight. The water looks like it could be fairly clear, but how far down are you and how far down does that go? Because no, absolutely not. No, thank you. Okay, yeah, this person said it. So I'm scared of heights and depths. Cool. Right, so this gives me both. This gives me both. Because now you're deep down, but then still very high up from the bottom, right? Horrible, horrible combination. Absolutely horrendous. Would not recommend ever to anybody. All right, man, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Some of these weren't that bad and some of them were very unsettling. And uh, I think there's certain things about this phobia that bother me way more than others. Like I was saying, uh, being above water really doesn't bother me all that much. A little bit, it can, but most of the pictures didn't really, really hit all that much for me. But when you do the thing where it's like, you know, half above water and half below, and I can see what's under, then I kind of start to freak out, right? Like that's kind of why I was towards the end of me playing those, uh, uh, towards the end of me doing those Subnautica videos. I'm not done with them, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do more. I just, I don't know when. I kind of need to work myself up to it. And this is kind of a way for me to ease myself back into that feeling. By the end of those, I was like barely going underwater. I feel like I was so afraid of seeing something that I was just swimming above water as much as I could. And any time I went under, I was just kind of uh, uh, stressing out, right? I was sweating. I had really, really bad indigestion, way worse than normal. My breathing was all weird. I'm not really a, uh, a yell and scream and freak out kind of person. I definitely internalize those feelings and they kind of manifest in different ways, like upset stomachs and, and sweating and, and stuff like that. Stuttering, like I can't f like speak as well. I get nervous while I'm talking, stuff like that. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a screamer really. And no offense to people who do, you know, who are screamers and they, you know, their, their fears manifest in that way. That's just not really how I work. I'm definitely a internalize it and kind of freak out about it mentally more so. I don't really let that out for other people to see most of the time. So anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and become a member if you'd like, join my discord. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.